welcome back to my channel today is vlogmas day number four and today's video is going to be a sit down video like i mentioned just recently that i'm not going to be literally vlogging my everyday life for 25 days because that's going to be a lot to handle and i don't think i'll be able to do it so i'm just going to be switching it up with vlogs and also sit down videos so that way you guys don't get bored and i don't get bored also for today's video it's going to be a what is on my iphone 11 pro max and uh, me and price just upgraded our phones um like last month in november i didn't really need a new phone but i just wanted the new one and yeah i had the 8 plus before this and now i have the 11 pro max and i absolutely love it i love the wide angle camera like the most and yeah today i'm gonna be showing you guys what's on my iphone i literally do these all the time when i get a new phone i have a bunch of them i'll try to link them down below or put them on the eye so you guys can watch them if you guys are interested if you guys are new to my channel hello my name is azzy i do college videos lifestyle fashion beauty vlogs you name it today is vlogmas day number four if you guys aren't caught up with my vlogmas i have my previous days also on my channel and i can link some of those down below also if you guys want to watch them and if you guys are returning subscribers and welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for clicking on this video so this is the first screen that um starts all my apps so these on this page are super basic the ones that come on the iphone so i have my mail my photos calendar my camera settings weather notes clock maps contacts calculator app store wallet extras and here i have the compass voice memos which comes really handy for like school or anything like that um find my iphone reminders news health itunes and files and i don't even use health or news itunes store i don't use any of that stuff um then i have facetime which i use a lot um activity for my apple watch i don't have my apple watch on right now but yeah it comes in handy to just look at your activity then i have my amazon alexa app so i can control alexa the lights through this app and um if i'm away and price is here he's not answering my phone calls i can just leave a message through this app and it will like literally and alexa will put it on her speakers and he will be able to hear me um then i have google calendar my fitness pal which i don't use at all but i need to start using tracks here like food oh my god sorry i just broke a nail it tracks your food um what you ate and all that stuff your weight then i have watch and a postmates app and um i forgot to mention this but all right, so I thought it would be able to show you my lock screen, but it's not. Um, I have just a picture of me and Price at the fair on my lock screen. And my home screen is just a picture of these Christmas trees that I found on Pinterest. If you guys can tell from the background, they're just different types of Christmas trees. I'm going to change it. I kind of don't like it anymore. It kind of looks kind of kiddish. So, yeah. On to the next page, which has most of the apps that I always use on a daily basis. I have Twitter. And you guys should follow me on Twitter. I don't really tweet that much, but you guys should still follow me, you know. I only have 309 followers. I tweet every once in a while. <laughs> um, and that is Ali Francois. Then I have Facebook, Hulu, Snapchat. You guys can also add me on Snapchat. And um, if you guys want to, like, you know, take a photo or something, you guys can add me on Snapchat. I have Mercari, which I sell a lot of my clothes on and stuff that I don't wear anymore. YouTube, you guys are on YouTube right now. Go subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed already. You guys can see Fogman State 3, 2, and 1. Um, and Black Friday haul. Yeah. Um, then I have my YouTube studio, which shows basically like views. It's like an app for the YouTube creators. It shows like your views, monetization all that jazz some of the stuff i don't even understand yet but yeah um spotify i love spotify y'all i literally just got my 2019 wrapped oops yeah and um yeah i'm listening to some playlists that it recommended from my 2019 wrapped i have poshmark which is another app where i sell all my clothes shoes anything like that sort 
Um, then I have my finance, which is like all my banking stuff. So I have Cash App, I have my Google AdSense, which is how I get paid through YouTube. I have Credit Karma, I check my credit score. Super helpful if you guys want to like know your credit score without hurting it. It's perfect. Tells you all your accounts, your loans, student loans, all that jazz on one account. Um, it tells you if your credit score went up or high. It tells you how to improve your credit score. So definitely recommend Credit Karma. I have Capital One, Navy Federal, USAA, Venmo, you buy BB and T, which I don't need anymore, but I still have it just in case. And then my Military Star Card app. Um, those are all my finance apps. It's a lot of apps, I know. Then I have my editing, which I use to edit my thumbnails, my Instagram photos, any photos, videos, stuff like that. So I have Visco, which I use to edit my thumbnails and my Instagram photos. If you guys want a separate video on how I edit my photos, then just let me know down below. If I'll do that really quickly one day. Um, I have Facetune, Fonto, which I use for my thumbnails, Afterlight, which I used to use back when I was in middle school. I don't even use it anymore, but I just have it in there just in case. And I also pay 99 cents for it, I think, back in the day when I was in middle school, so I kind of don't want to delete it. You Doodle, Pixar, Unum helps you plan your photos, comes kind of helpful. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. And then I have Collageable, Collageable, and I use that for my thumbnails, and then Eraser. Do I have anything else on here? No, I don't have anything else in the finance. No, okay. Next, I have my shopping app, which has all the ports, all the apps that I use for shopping. So we have Amazon, love Amazon, Pink Nation, so I can see my like credit card, shop on Victoria's Secret or Victoria's Secret Pink, my Target app, which I love, especially when using Cartwheel, Shopkick, super helpful, Sephora. Ulta, Walmart, first new one, sneakers app. And I have the Walmart app because sometimes I go to Walmart and they don't even have a barcode on them. So I can just get it through the app and um, it'll tell me the price. And then I have Zaffle, which I've never used. I, mean, I didn't even know I had Zaffle on there. And then I have my social. I don't even know what this is, but I'm guessing it's like more like messenger apps. So Pinterest and Bitmoji are definitely not part of the social subject i don't know why it's on there but it is and then i have messenger for facebook and group me which i don't even use also then i have my college apps and i have my student canvas and my outlook these are both for unf don't know why i have them here but just in case i need them for next semester and then i have my food so it's like any food restaurants that i go to so i have starbucks panera bread tasty uber eats and Domino's. tiktok I love TikTok. You guys should follow me on TikTok. I was literally just talking about oh I was literally just talking about TikTok yesterday. Um my video has only 2030 views. I don't think it went that viral, but go follow me, it's Azzy Francois. I have my Blackboard app, which is for my community college. And then I have Gmail also for my college. Chick-fil-A app, that should be with food, but I feel if I put it in the food folder, I'm gonna forget about it, so I have it there, so every time I go to Chick-fil-A, I remember about it. I have Afterpay, which is awesome. Um, basically, you can make a payment. It allows you to buy something and then make payments every two weeks, um, so that way it like, kind of splits up the amount. And then I have Netflix. I don't even know why Netflix is like all the way down there. And then Get Upside is also a great app. All right, so this basically, if you guys don't know what get okay it basically allows you to get cents or a certain amount of cents back every gallon and then once you reach like ten dollars you can get it for or get your money for a gift card amazon starbucks target literally anything you name it so if you guys want to try it out um you don't have to put your credit card information on it or anything like that literally just your location so they know that you're at the correct um gas station and then just take a photo of your receipt and um you get your cents back and then i'm almost at 10 bucks so i'm gonna get myself a starbucks gift card but yeah you guys can use my code it's bqjxe um and you'll get a i think you'll get 15 cents back a gallon which is a really good and then i have story Lux, which i kind of don't really use i just saw that like two days ago and then i have duncan don't use that either i should probably delete this since I don't even use it um then to the next page these are all like my random apps like the ones I've downloaded and never had time to put them in certain folders 
So I have Google Docs, then I have my lifestyle, which is Zillow, Apartments, Influencer, Arbonne, and I bought it. Hold on, I have to sneeze. <clears throat> so Zillow and Apartments, I love looking at like apartments and houses to get inspiration. I know I'm not the only one that does it. If you do it, let me know because I just love looking at houses and stuff for like my future. Influencer, you get like free stuff. Arbonne, Shop Arbonne. Um, don't really know what else to say about that. And then I bought it to get money back from grocery shopping, which is also really awesome. I've gotten like almost $60 back just by taking a picture of my receipt from my bought it. Then I have my travels. I have Airbnb, Lyft, Uber, and Postmates. Don't know why Postmates on there should be with food, but we're not even going to talk about it right now. I have my AT&T, pay your phone bill. Cooking City is a game I used to play. Don't really play it anymore. Um, Robin Hood is for investing. Um which I've kind of like learned prices like also learning also price is also learning so we're just trying to get used to it Lightroom don't even use that Rover is to take care of dogs Waze super helpful when you're driving long trips so you can like you know it tells you when there's a police car um Ring for the front door Yelp when you go places to review stuff Disney Plus HelloFresh, PayPal, NC State Guide, Countdown, Hibbit, Finish Line, Kicks on Fire, Price on it. All of those because there's some new shoes dropping and you need to use my phone. And then, oh, in the bottom I have my phone, messages, and Instagram. I love Instagram. You guys need to follow me on my Instagram, as you Francois. I love Instagram. It's my favorite app ever. Um, and yeah. And then I have Safari, which I use a lot too. And that's literally everything that's on my phone. That's everything that's on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys are new, comment down below because I would love to know if you guys are new subscribers. And I will see you guys all in my next vlogmas. Bye guys. <laughs>